the nationwide gun debate ramping up. Last night, the survivors of the Florida school massacre directed their frustration and outrage at lawmakers in a CNN town hall. No lawmaker received more of that anger than Republican Senator Marco Rubio, who's earned an A-plus rating from the NRA. Can you tell me right now that you will not accept a single donation from the NRA in the future? No, the answer to the question is that people buy into my agenda. And I do support the Second Amendment. NRA money, more NRA money. However, the senator did appear to shift his tone somewhat on guns by the end of the discussion. It was during that town hall that Parkland students also fired tough statements to a representative of the National Rifle Association. So the kids are holding lawmakers to the fire who received campaign donations from the NRA. Our Wayne Haverly spoke with Oregon's two congressmen who've cashed NRA checks. And Wayne, how are they responding to this intense gun debate? Well, both say there's plenty of work to do on the gun issue. However, what the Parkland students are pushing for right now, the ban of high-capacity magazines and military-style weapons, is definitely not what these two Oregon lawmakers are talking about tonight. School and be safe. The intense conversation during last night's town hall included political contributions made to lawmakers by the National Rifle Association. In the name of 17 people, you cannot ask the NRA to keep their money out of your campaign. I think in the name of 17 people, I can pledge to you that I will support any law that will prevent a killer like this. The NRA has spent $4.1 million since 1998 on the campaigns of current members of Congress, according to the Washington Post, which analyzed data from the Federal Election Commission. What about Oregon's congressional delegation? Two have taken NRA money. So if you don't think an election matters... Data shows Republican Congressman Greg Walden as the clear favorite, receiving $39,250 from the NRA since 98. Democrat Congressman Kurt Schrader also cashed $5,000 in checks from the NRA. Schrader pointed out by phone that he hasn't taken a donation from the organization since 2014. And they just uh, have this extremist line of uh, uh, discussion that I think is inappropriate given the, the level of concern. Uh, we have to respond to the gun violence and... Uh, we've come out in favor of uh, you know, more universal background checks like we have here in Oregon. Schrader also wants to immediately reverse a 22-year-old restriction that prevents the CDC from studying gun violence and says a ban on bump stocks that mimic automatic fire should be a no-brainer on both sides of the aisle. Congressman Walden did not respond to questions about NRA donations, but said he wants to focus on improving the national gun background check system. They're supposed to be turning in data into that system so we can prevent firearms from going into the wrong hands. Walden also wants the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms to reevaluate whether bump stocks should be legal. Now, during last night's town hall with the Parkland students, Florida's Senator Marco Rubio said that he's reconsidering his stance on high-capacity magazines for semi-automatic firearms. Neither Congressman Walden or Congressman Schrader are talking about restrictions on specific weapons. Congressman Schrader says any move to restrict assault-style weapons or those high-capacity magazines would likely never get through Congress right now. Back to you. Wayne, thank you. We'll have much more on the gun debate.